welcome to Both Sides Now, and this is the show that gets the stories behind the songs. I'm Ona Derby, and I'm a singer-songwriter too, and I'm absolutely ecstatic to be joined today by my good friend and singer-songwriter, Janet Henry. Hello and welcome. Hello, it's great to be here. And thank you very much for coming. <laughs> it's so lovely. It's so lovely to get out. Uh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And get into real clothes. Real clothes, as real we were saying clothes. earlier. Get dressed up, get the makeup on, and here we are. Yep. Yep. So, Janet, you've been a singer-songwriter for many a year now. Mm, too long. Isn't well, up, no, it's never too long, is it? Uh, never, never. <laughs> and you and I go back a long way, don't we? Absolutely. I know. I know. I know. So We've many been... gigs, many scripts. Yes, ups and many downs. Many songs, ups and downs. <clears throat> and what I have to say is I remember uh, the first time when I decided to go out and sing by myself and Jordy and I got in the car and drove down to see you in Colm I don't know if you remember I do that's right so so long ago now Janet I know and uh, I remember how nervous I felt singing in front of you an established <laughs> singer songwriter <laughs> honestly but from my heart I have to say um, you've inspired me throughout my career and you've supported me throughout my career and I know that you've done that for countless others so a big heartfelt thank you oh to you're start welcome with. that's so lovely to hear i know i know and thank you so much for all the support um so we're going to actually take a wee look at you in action here now so just tell us janet uh where are you and what are you singing here just right now that's actually um lovely video done by uh joseph and donna murray they have a lovely Memories setup called sessions in the house the right and you go there and they film your your song for you and uh make you a lovely video and that's I think that's Hello Radio I'm singing there <clears throat> off my album Going Home yes. first track and uh, when they heard it they invited me down to oh, do lovely. a video so uh, it's uh, it's lovely it it's, looks amazing I have to say and it's, I'm really you're really rocking that jacket it's a, aren't I just yeah <laughs> rock chick <laughs> but no they have this great setup <clears throat> in in their house mm. and it's it's all so professional and uh so that's that's that little clip there and of course you joined there with uh colin and james you're yeah. so lucky to be singing with your own family as well, i know you? yes uh james he took up banjo about four years ago and has just excelled uh something un- unreal i know and uh colin has he's multi-instrumentalist of course totally. he's been in it <laughs> he's been in it from he's been this high hasn't yeah he, though colin? his main his, his main instrument is dobro um and uh he does a lot of session work for people who just yes find a dobro player as oh, you know well he's been here in the studio lots of <laughs> he times does, i mean he's he really has. rated with us he has <laughs> so janet the object of this show then is um you're a singer songwriter and i'm a yeah, singer songwriter huh? and uh i suppose you're going to do a song and tell us a story about behind that particular song yes. and then i'm going to do one as well yep so both sides now is the name of the show both sides of the song and both sides of the sofa. Oh, that's so exciting. That's yeah, great. Totally, it's just yeah, lovely. Know. Well, I was thinking, though, um, when we thought about this show, Janet, is um, you don't always get a chance to tell a story behind the songs when you're at a gig or on a radio no, show. No, that's right. And you and I both know there are many different stories that go behind the words that not everybody will uh, automatically get. That's um, right. And I think that a good song is something that's deeply personal to you, but also generic enough to everybody so that they can take, of course, what they need out of it. I know, in- indeed. Uh, and it's it's really finding the inspiration, isn't it? Well, I wanted to ask you about behind. that. Is it songs. you? Is it your family? Is it your experiences? Is it the folks around you? I mean, w- w- what makes your songs? Well, uh, I think songs that are written from your own experiences uh, are probably the best yes. because they're true and they're yeah. honest and what you're feeling is real. Yes. Um, and I do write songs that are just ideas Yes. also. Um, but I'm, I'm trying more recently to connect more with what has been happening or experiences that have happened um, and get those down in songs. Experiences now or are you thinking back? Either, both. <coughs> um, uh, you know, sometimes things can that have happened a long time ago can revisit you. Oh, totally. You know, totally. in a different way yeah. and you see things from a different perspective. Mm-hmm. Uh, something you might have forgotten about a long, long time ago resurfaces and there you have it yeah you know and sometimes things are of the moment that's it and those some of those songs can happen and be written very quickly <laughs> i find that 
I find that I can toil over a song yeah, yeah. for such a long time or you can write one in one afternoon. I know. And I find uh, being a mother now and watching our children growing up and watching your children going through exactly what you went through, I find exactly the same thing, that the mm. memories are then, I did that. I remember that I or I remember this I know I remember that so I know exactly what you mean so it's it's very <coughs> um unpredictable yeah really and I mean I can go through a long time of just dryness yes. where there's nothing in fact I found the last year through this whole pandemic I found it really really difficult to yes. tap into any sort of um inspiration um at all mm. to write anything it's just it's also negative out there and yeah. people have been ill and they've lost loved ones and it's just impacted on how I it's, felt it's it. not the right energy for it you're not in the right place you're not in the right zone no I just I just couldn't do it <clears throat> and for other people they've gone the opposite way and mm-hmm. they've fed from that and they've been able to get out there and do their thing whatever from their kitchen from their living room yes <laughs> but I I just couldn't seem to do it but anyway I'm Feeling a bit more positive That's, now. No, That's I'm good. Really, really <laughs> so, glad to hear. It's all good. Yes. And I mean, I find uh, writing songs down at our it's quite cathartic and quite powerful mm-hmm. because at the end of the day, you are the only person who knows what that song's about. And in a way, it gives you a wee sense of, you know, because I know. You're, the, you're it, you're the only person. And people can draw into your song whatever it is that they're feeling and what they're experiencing. But truly, you're the only one who knows actually what it's about. Exactly. Yeah. Ex- exactly. I know. I, I know. I know. So, uh, it's, it's, it's an amazing experience. It's an amazing thing to be able to do, isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah. It's, it's the feeling, the creativeness of it when you've finished a piece and you know and you know that that is it complete yeah, yeah. it just makes walk you, away it's a great feeling it's lovely. <laughs> it is it is so i'm gonna ask you now janet as i say this uh show is about the stories behind the song and i know you see your guitar there you're gonna sing a song for us today so janet what's the song and what's the story right well the song um is, uh, i think it's probably going to be called love letters or on fire it's, it's very new very new so yeah i haven't heard this one yet no you haven't Fantastic. Uh, and i i got the inspiration really from um a friend of mine uh who was telling me uh, a story her her mother recently passed away well, right. about a year ago uh-huh. and um and her father also passed away a good while ago but she was telling me that um she'd been clearing out the house uh this was before her mum had had died about two or three years ago she was clearing out the house and came across a bundle of letters that were obviously from her father to her mother and she took them to her mum and she said I found these Uh and it was like she said it was like giving her the lottery she had thought they were lost so she got to live it all again and she wonderful got them back and then uh, my friend said to me that she read them every single night for about two years really Uh uh-huh just so getting to know her parents in a whole different way Mm -hmm, yeah and her mum you know had this part of her her husband back uh and uh read them every night and then said to my friend see whenever i go don't you ever read those you get rid Ah. of them (laughs) well (laughs) what's in those one is little dark secrets don't we you know yeah and uh and then, so after she did pass away, um, uh, she and her sisters, they, they took the letters to uh, the beach where they oh. went to as children and they burned them. And I said, but did you read them? Yes, did you read them before? She says, no. So she respected I, her she mother. She didn't sisters. read them, you know. But it sort of got me thinking about, you know, that we're with our, you know, partners and husbands and whatever, and we can be with them for a very long time. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, and you just kind of think to yourself, sometimes the passion can just kind of just be, of course. Well, you know what I mean. Life gets it's, in the way. Life gets in the way and stuff. But really, it can still be there. And um, Well, isn't it a great thing to go back and remember? That's right. And reignite all those things. Well, absolutely. And I know, and I, then I find <laughs> stuff that... You know, that we had written to each other, Colin and I, and it just was like, my, was that that long ago? Wow. And it's I'm going to go home, Janet, now and rifle through my, my, my drawers to <laughs> find a few, a few letters. That's what you'll find. Yeah. I know, but, you know, and you sort of think, you know, that's that was all there and it still is. Yes, of it's course. in a different way, but it's it's so lovely that things last and um, 
you know, you can get different things, very sort of materialistic and they disappear and it comes and goes and that's life but the one thing that's really important is your memories and your experiences yeah, of course yeah absolutely that sounds fantastic I can't wait to hear it pick up oh, the guitar we're ready and, uh, <laughs> and let's give it a whiz we'll give it a whirl then, so what's we? the working title anyway for this song what, do you think what are you going to call it? it well we call it on fire oh wow yeah, well, that sounds so, good well isn't isn't fire a very passionate sort of element burns bright burns raw <laughs> so, absolutely yeah yeah that, that's fine so okay here we go found our old love letters just the other In the faded pages Were the words we used to say So many years are gone now One thing still remains Through the storm Through the storms, through the sunshine, through the rain, you could bring me flowers, the floors don't last, you could promise me tomorrow. Like those old love letters Full of passion and desire You're still the one You set my heart on fire scent of darkness hidden in a memory where young hearts collided to become what they should be remember all the love songs I sang you If you ask me again, I just might. You could bring me flowers, but flowers don't last. You could promise me tomorrow.
absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. It's quite mesmerizing. I felt I felt myself just drifting into the beautiful, beautiful melody. Thank you so That's much. That's lovely. Love you. Must be very pleased with that. Well, it's uh, just kind of straight off the press. <laughs> straight off the press. You heard it here first, folks. Um, on both sides now. Thank you so much for oh, saying that. You're, you're welcome. And um, I am really wanting to ask you about you singing. Okay. And, how are uh, how is that going? I know there's not been much happening, but um, I know you do. And I'd well, like to hear something. Same as you, Janet. <laughs> you know, there hasn't been a great deal of inspiration coming from the energies to to, to write, sort of even inspirationally, as you mm-hmm. just have. Um, I spent the last wee while uh, researching a lot of songs for a history s- project that I'm working on called Local Heroes. Um, but I do have a song for you here. That, today to play um, and I'm not going to play it live but it was a live concert that we did a wee while ago yes so David and I were asked to write a song for the uh, centenary of the Great War uh-huh. um, the, the World War One and when we did a bit of research absolutely amazing the stories that come out of there obviously in the poetry and stuff so in a wee village called Ardre down Cookstown way uh-huh. um, where we actually ended up doing the concert amazing there was a family called the McElree family and Mrs. McElree had eight, er, nine children, eight sons and one daughter. And all of her eight sons were called up to war at the same time. Gosh. Oh. Now, being a mum, oh, and no, I'm from no, a big no. family, as you know, yeah, yeah. all I kept thinking about was what was that poor woman going through every single night, not knowing were they alive, were they fighting, when were they coming home. And um, so eight sons went out and only seven came back. And the wee young one, John McElroy, was only 17 and he didn't make it back again. So then I tried to find a voice for him. And uh, this song that you're going to hear now was the last letter that he wrote to his mum wanting to come home for Christmas. Oh, it's another letter song. It's That's another letter was. song. There's definitely a theme today, isn't there? That's so lovely. Yeah, yeah, totally. So uh, this is us playing now a wee while ago. Yeah, Actually grand. at the church, there were members of family there um, and members of the community, of, of the McElroy family. And... Uh, I actually got very emotional singing it. I got a bit of a lump in my throat. I'm because sure you did. It was such a... It's very powerful. Very powerful. Uh, anytime I think about the Great War or anything else I do, mm-hmm. I actually get quite welled up mm-hmm. anyway about the sheer loss of life, you know. So I tried to give this wee lad a voice. Um, and um, what would a teenager say as mommy? Oh. I know. I know. I don't, I don't even want to think about well, that. Well, here it is. Let's, uh, <laughs> okay. let, let's have a look and this see what you think. You. sound of war is all around and bullets sing in this biting wind as the snow begins to fall it's the noise i can't enjoy war's haunting song i must endure i long for the quiet With my 
my brothers, we must stand as one. No more afraid and all alone. But side by side with all of my mother's son. this blackest night my colors fade to black and white and bombs explode like Christmas globes it's then I think of home tell me news of sweet art tree where bells ring in the break of day does moonlight glow on a Christmas Eve And oh I wish I was home And know That with my brothers We have stood as one No more Afraid and all Thank you very much. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a bit emotional, isn't it? It is. Even listening it to is. it again, I uh, actually get a wee bit of, uh, oh, emotional. Oh, so gorgeous. Yeah. Well done, you. Thank you very much. Gorgeous. And thank you very much for coming in today. My pleasure. I have really enjoyed myself. So have I. Just, just, just to wonderful. get chatting normally. Yeah. So tell us your new album. It's called? Going Home. Mm -hmm. Going Home. Um, I did it a couple of years ago. And uh, I've recently just re-released it again um, onto all the kind of media platform oh. things. So okay. it's all available to get from the streaming. And where things. will people find you, Janet? They will find me on Facebook, mm -hmm. Janet Henry. And um, they will find me on iTunes and Spotify and Amazon and YouTube. Fantastic. <laughs> so, <laughs> Facebook is really... Pl the oh, go to place, to isn't it? Really, yeah. yes. Social, the social medias, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's and, it. Yeah. You know, anybody can message me there and find me there and uh, connect with me at that. Well, thank you so much. And okay, folks, uh, that's us for today. Big thanks to Janet, big thanks to the crew here. Um, join us next time on Both Sides Now to get the other side of the songs. Thank you very much. little friend take it all away 